my experience across a multitude of issues, from tobacco to food security, transportation, have I've 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 arrived at this epiphany, if you will, which is the um, the the lever is in how we advocate and approach all of these issues. It's not in picking uh, an issue over the other. Uh, I think we've been throwing programmatic solutions at a structural problem. You cannot have implicit bias trainings or a multicultural potluck or a anti-racism book club to solve this, right? I want to honor the importance of enlightenment, of education, but we've been waiting for over 400 years, Peter, on, on this racial equity consciousness, and that's not what we can um, rely on. And so I think in the name of policy change, we have to go after the impact uh, of policies and systems, not necessarily even the, the enlightenment of it, right? So I, I'm, where I'm putting a lot of my energy, Peter, is in equity integration in governance and how we prioritize. I don't wanna say regardless of belief, but I wanna say, well, you may or may not care about Hmong refugees, but it's, uh, it's the law, right? You have to disaggregate data. You have to have culturally uh, tailored approaches. You have to fund this. Uh, and this is a play from tobacco control, right? We didn't just say, hey, smoking is bad for your health. You shouldn't do it. Uh, we actually increased the price of tobacco. We made it illegal to smoke indoors. And there was a strong uh, uh, public campaign to change social norms. And so the same kind of template, I think, applies to racial and health equity is that, believe it or not, we're, we're making sure that every bill that is being considered isn't just considered uh, through a fiscal note, right? And that a fiscal note has to take into consideration an equity impact. So we're trying to embed racial and health equity into how bills are devised, assessed, how policies are made in the structure of the legislature, creating an equity committee in the legislative process, or maybe an equity committee in, on, in your uh, board of directors, right? Or even on your editorial board, Peter, right? Having an equity position, analysis, and not just a checklist, but it is a true uh, uh, praxis, right? And how you screen and how you assess your priorities. And so I, I want to just give you the template in which we're trying to match structural solutions to a structural problem instead of just trying to educate and throw throw a healthcare approach to to a, a structural problem.